what's going on guys next out JS is a complete open source authentication solution for next JS applications and this solution is designed to work with any OAuth service it supports OAuth 1.0 and 2.0 in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate this solution with Spotify to sign in into our next JS application using that platform don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get started this is our next JS application on a previous video, I'm going to put the link to that video here, we already integrated an email provider to implement a passwordless sign-in. So here I'm going to add a new provider, and in this case will be Spotify. So this is providers.spotify. And here we need to pass an object with just two properties, a client ID, and we're going to use an environment variable to set this value. So this is process dot end dot and this is Spotify client ID and then a client secret and this is process dot end dot Spotify client secret. Okay, now let's add these two environment variables to our dot end file i'm going to add it here and i'm going to grab the client secret and i'm going to paste it here okay now let's go to spotify's developer portal so that we can create an application and get our client id and client secret okay so we have to go to developer.spotify.com and we need to go to dashboard and here we need to click on create an app. Okay, here we need to add a name and a description for our app. So this is next out integration test. And I'm going to use the same for the description. We need to accept this and we need to click on create. Okay, we need to click on edit settings and we need to add our website. So in this case, we are going to integrate this with our application running on localhost on port 3000. So this is HTTP, localhost 3000, and the redirect URL will be localhost 3000 slash API slash auth slash callback. And here we pass the provider name that in this case is Spotify. And we need to click on add. And that's pretty much it. We click on save. And now we need to grab this client ID and this client secret that we have here. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste the client ID here. And now I'm going to grab the client secret and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, now let's build and run the application and let's try the sign in with Spotify. Now let's run the application npm run dev. Now let's go to the browser and let's test the Spotify sign-in. Okay, I'm going to click on sign-in and now I'm going to click on sign-in with Spotify. And I'm going to get an error that is basically OAuth parts profile error, cannot read property URL of undefined. Okay, and the fix that I found for this issue is here. So basically we need to add this method to map the profile so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to paste it here. All right, let's run this again. Let's go back to the browser and let's click again on sign in with Spotify. Okay, here I'm already logged in as Pragmatic Reviews. Here we have our application name. Here I'm going to click on agree. Okay, and now as we can see here, we are signing it as reviewspragmatic at gmail.com. This is the email of my Spotify account. Okay, and here if we go to application and if we go to the cookies, here we're gonna have this session token. And if we go to the database and if we go to sessions, we're gonna find that value here that is actually this session token and some other things that we're gonna find in the database within the accounts collection, for example, we're gonna have this document where we have the provider type that is auth, the provider ID that is Spotify, 
and here we have the access token and the resource token for that provider. And if we go to the users collection, we're going to find our user, pragmatic reviews, and the email. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.